Hello everyone, welcome to Crafting with Barbara. So my tutorial today is going to be part two to my uh, Wizard of Oz that I did yesterday in my last tutorial. Um, today I want to make the cake part. So let's get started. Um, I have here a can and it's a popcorn can. I spray painted it white. Even though once I put everything on, um, the back on stuff, you're not going to really see the can. But I wanted to do it because I didn't want the markings on the can to show once I put my um, pieces down on it. So um, we're going to start with that part. So like I said, I took a, and then um, one of these from um, cake things from um, Dollar Tree. Um, they didn't have the bigger ones, and I couldn't find a bigger one nowhere, so I'm going to just make this work. I have a piece of board, like the same board I used um, when I did my last tutorial on this. And um, I got a piece ready on the side of me, just in case I want to use it. But we're just going to work with what we got for now with this. So first off, I want to start with adding my pieces I have three different ones that I will be using. Um, here's the first one, which I adore. Okay, um, I'm gonna use some glue to get it um, put on here. I was going to use glue from like the glue gun, but I think this is going to work better. So I'm just going to, like I said, glue it, uh, the back pieces over here. I might be better off using my finger. This brush sucks. I hope everyone liked yesterday's tutorial with the first part. And if anybody is wondering where I got this material from, I was lucky and I found it a very long time ago in a thrift store. And it was like a whole bunch of different pieces. I have um, two very large pieces left. I don't know what I want to do with those yet. I was kind of thinking about just framing those. So I'm not too sure yet on what I want to do with those. But I will show you guys. And maybe you guys can give me an idea of what I can do with those. Okay, see? So we got that one down. Okay, then I have two other ones that I wanna use as well. Okay, 
I think this was one of the best finds at Dollar, at, no, not Dollar Tree, at, um, I believe it was the Salvation Army, it might have been. I'm not worried about the little strings at the edges because I have an idea of what I want to do with that part, but I just want to try to get them down as best as I can. Okay, so now my second part is this one, which she's right here. Okay. Then I'm just gonna go over. I'm gonna go over, um, like around it, in between it, with my uh, spackle. And I'm just gonna use white spackle. I was gonna use like a yellow or, or like a color, but I was like, no, I didn't want to do that because I'm going to do something like around the edges of every picture. I have this in my head like always. I have things in my head and then I, I just go with it. second guys I just want to make sure I'm putting it on there straight as straight as I can These little strings are annoying. But like I said, you're not, I'll go back and get those. You're not going to um, see them once I start putting like the spackle and everything else. So Just want to make sure my edges are down pretty good. It's it's down real good in the middle. But it's just my edges where they're like feel like they wanna come up. strings if it ain't the glue gun strings is the strings the something look at this but it's okay because I can easily get those off Okay, and there's that one. Now on this side, oop, I messed up my first one. That was my fault. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to get the last one on and then we'll get moving. So the last one is this one. Which she's right here down at the corner. I got a little tear in the um on this piece on the top but it's okay because um like I said I'm gonna try to go around every single picture with spackle so hopefully that will help me um not show that part you can't really tell it's just a little baby slit I was busy running my mouth and not really paying attention of where I was cutting and I realized that I cut it there. Like I cut it a little bit too much. the third one so let's put it back on the wheel and let's start our spackle so like I said I'm going to just use plain white to go around it Like I said, I just have plain white. Hopefully I can do, do this good. See, you guys can't really see because of the camera it sucks. Sorry, can really see because it's white.
Okay, then at the very bottom, down here, I want to use my pretty ruffle that I used on, on my first one. I want to use it at the very bottom. I didn't even have to add no white paint to my spackle because um, it's it's really white. So why waste uh, paint on it? So I did not add any white to the spackle, white paint. I just left it just like it is. I am putting spackle at the very bottom, even though I'm going to use that because I still need to put a little bit because of the, it's not like that wide at the bottom to use that. So If you guys see me looking red and hot and sweaty, it's because where I'm working, um, I don't have a fan down here right now. I didn't bring one down with me. So just don't pay attention to the hotness look. My face is starting to turn red. Okay. My cake looks like it's trying to run off of my stand. I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool, I hope. I mean, I think it looks cool already with just these pictures. I think that's really cool.
I feel like by the minute I'm turning redder. Just have this up here and this corner up here and then we can get going. Here we go. Just trying to go over and make sure I didn't leave any gaps. All right. Oh, I was about to forget the top. My goodness. Can't forget the top. I don't know if I'm the only one that makes fake bakes that uses these ice cream popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree. For some reason, I just love using them. I feel like I'm comfortable with the way I can rub on the sp spackle. I know a lot of people use like what you actually use to do this part, which I have one sitting right next to me. But I just feel comfortable with these popsicle sticks. I don't know why. Like I said before, don't ask me to make a real cake. I mean, I'm okay at it. Because I have done them before for my kids. But I don't know.
Okay, we got the top on. Okay, let me move this to the side, close it up. Leave it right here just in case we need it again. Okay, now for my next part. I don't know if it's gonna work the way I want it to work, but we're gonna see. So in my piping bag, um, I can't, I don't know, these little tiny tips that I got off eBay, they don't have like the sizes on them. That's why you see I never tell you guys what size is on them because it doesn't have no sizes. So, but this trick, I don't know if it's going to work, cross my fingers, Whew. but this trick right here, I learned from um, um, one of my favorite crafters, uh, Peep This Y'all, she did this where she just put paint inside of it and then just put the spackle in and it turned out really beautiful. Um, so you guys can go check her out. She makes some real awesome things. So I don't know if this is going to work, but let's hope it does. Oh. Now you see what I'm doing? I'm giving it like a little frame. I want to try to do each one just a little bit different, but like with the same bag, but a little different. Can you guys see what I did? Okay, that's that one. Now for this one, you know what? I'm going to skip this one and go over to the next one. I know you guys can't really see, I apologize. But now I'm able to post pictures. So that's a good thing. I'll be able to post pictures where you guys can actually see what it looks like. I knew this was gonna happen. That's why I had a little bag on the side. I love the way the colors come out. So I will definitely be posting pictures as well. But I usually like to post my tutorial first and then post the picture so you guys can actually see what it looks like because I tell you all the time, my camera is horrible. 
And I know you guys can't hardly see sometimes. And I apologize for that. I'm working on getting what I need to make things look better. But I think that is adorable. Okay, now for this one. I wanted to try to like... Um, this one, I'm like turning it like little circles, little flowers. stuck hold up guys I feel like I'm getting stuck here I probably got air or something in it. Okay, I think I'm back. Yep. Why do you want to act up now that we're almost done? I'm thinking that's what it is. is doing this to me now. I had something stuck. Let me move this out my way before I make a bigger mess. Ugh. Like that. Oh boy. So there we go, guys. See? I really love the way this turned out. So I made, I just took one of those circle foams from Dollar Tree and I just painted it red on one side and on the round, um, around it. And I put some glitter on and I'm going to sit this on the top.
Okay, I'm gonna set that up there. And then our dog's gonna go sitting up there. Okay, hopefully this doesn't keep getting stuck on me. I'm gonna try to put some at the bottom. So, remember I told you guys I wanted to use this. But as I'm going, I changed my mind and I'm just using my spackle. Um, I want to do this on the top too, so I'm going to stand up for a minute. I love it. I love it. Okay, so this is the front right here. Okay, so here is my adorable doggy. And I'm going to sit him up here. I was going to glue him. But I'm not going to glue him just because... Um, that's why. So if I glue him, then I won't be able to open him up when the batteries die and put batteries in it and make it back up. So that's why I'm not putting, um, no, that's why I'm not gluing, um, him down. And then I do have more I have more of these little yellow flowers. I just want to see real quick. So I put two flowers there. I think I'm gonna do two flowers on there. I'm gonna put these at the bottom instead. Okay. 
Then um, I had this from my first one. Oh, but I don't think I'm going to add them. It was like my what I use as my little. I have a little tree. I don't know if I don't think I want to use my tree. So I think we're gonna leave it like this. I really don't want to do much. I do want to put I'm just blowing a little bit of um, glitter. Okay, we're going to save the bricks for if I need them for something else. Okay, let's put the doggy back up here. All right, let me move this paint over here before I make a mess. Okay. We're done, guys. you guys can kind of see what I did with the spackle going around I really love the way this one turned out okay um so I have because I, I do have these pretty flowers So I don't know if I want to add any on here. We'll just add one. Just to have the, the little doggy to have a flower. Yeah, we'll just do one. Okay. So we are done. I really, really love the way it turned out. Okay, so we're done guys. I'm not gonna hold you guys up no more.
need to burn myself. So we're going to go ahead and scoop that over there. I really love the way it turned out. <sighs> I really, really do. Okay, so we're done here. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please don't forget to give it a like. And please don't forget to subscribe. And um, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this. I enjoyed making it. It was really fun, really easy. So, um... Like I said, um, that way you guys can see it a little better. Um, I'll be posting some pictures of it as well. Um, I think it really did turn out cool. Really. So, um, oh, and I wanted to tell you guys real quick before I go. On my other part that I made of this, um, my last tutorial. Um, I kind of like was running my mouth and going through it, you know, first time being back for a little bit. And um, I kind of didn't tell you guys what I use. Let me move this over for a quick second and bring it up. So I have it sitting right here next to me. Okay. So for my castle park, I did not explain to you guys what I did, and I apologize for that. So what I used to make the castle was... Two containers, the two big ones are two containers of Pringles chips. And then these small ones, these small rolls, are from um, when you get uh, pieces of uh, material and stuff at the store. They come like little teeny rolls like this. So um, that's what these are. And then the two... The fat one right here in the middle, this one right here, and the two in the very back are made out of paper towel rolls. So that's what I used to make those because I knew I forgot to tell y'all something and that's what it was. I forgot to explain to you guys how I made the castle. So I really apologize for that. So I just put them all, glued them all together in the place where I wanted them. And, and then I just painted them green and then I added... After I was done completely painting them, I added some of my green hairspray um, paint that you guys know I love to use. I used that and then I, I let that dry and then I went over it with a dry brush of a little darker green. Because like I said, I wanted it to be a little off and different. So that's what I used to do that. And I apologize for not explaining that to you guys in my last tutorial when I was making it. I was just... So excited to be back and rushing through it that I did not realize till after that I did not tell you guys how I made the castle. So there you go. That's how I did the castle. So um, I just want to say thank you to everyone and thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.